I'm Kurt with Winners Performance. And one of the most commonly asked questions we get is how to figure out what ring and pinion you have in your quick change rear. Typically, it's either going to be a 412 or a 486. And uh, the way you figure out what you've got is really very simple. So we've got one of each of them here, and we're going to show you how to figure out what you've got. The first thing that you're going to do is you'll remove the gear cover and take out the quick change gears. Then you'll grab a paint pen, and what you want to do is you want to put a mark at 12 o'clock on the top shaft, which is your pinion shaft, and then do the same at 12 o'clock on your hub or mark your tire. Now, you'll be able to turn this by hand. Uh, if you can't, then you're gonna to need to inspect the rear because you could have a problem. So once you've got your marks in place, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your hub one full rotation, and as you do it, you're gonna watch how many times this dot that's on the pinion shaft rotates as well. If it's just over four rotations, that tells you that you've got a 412 ring and pinion ratio. So moving over to this rear, we're gonna basically repeat the same process. Once we remove the gear cover and the quick change gears, we're gonna use our paint pen to make a mark at 12 o'clock on your pinion shaft and at 12 o'clock on your hub or on your wheel. Then we'll rotate the hub Once you go one full rotation with the hub, if this goes almost five full rotations, you've got a 486 ring pinion. So figuring out what ratio you've got is as simple as that. 